Today, I'm going to be diving into a new tool by the name of Relay. If you go to relay.app, you can think of something like Zapier or Make, but it's more cost effective. It's very easy to use, and it allows for a human in the loop collaboration, which means if there's a specific step that you need to do an approval on or that you need to add additional data to, you can intervene and complete that. So in this video, I will show you the basics and also dive into a simple step-by-step -step tutorial. Welcome to our channel. My name is Zach Stevenson. I'm a business processes and no code consultant. If you need help streamlining or automating any of your business processes, please visit our website below to book a free console. Before I get into the tutorial, I'm going to run through some of the basics within relay.app and also show you some of the features and things that it can do. If you navigate to relay.app, you can set up a free account and it's pretty simple to get started. I'm just going to start on their website. As I said before, it's very similar to Zapier and Make. It's relatively new, so there isn't as many tools available as there is in Zapier and Make. But as they continue to develop each week or each month, they're adding a lot of more integrations. Now, there is a few features that aren't available at this point in time. I'm sure they are adding them, like looping through and iterations and those types of things. On the plus side, it's much cheaper and it is very, very simple to use, and it allows for that human in the loop collaboration. This is their homepage on their website, and you can scroll through to see some of the things it does. You can explore what Relay can do and what tools and actions it can complete. There's some AI built in. You can connect with OpenAI as well. So there's a lot of different things that are available. This is a pricing breakdown, which compares to Zapier as well. There is a free plan that only allows for one playbook, but it's enough to get started and learn with it. And the first tier is very affordable, $9 per user. There's also some use cases. There's a how-to guide to get started. And then if you select integrations, it will show you the list of integration that's available. There's some resources, some demo videos, but that's basically it to get started. So you can go in and try for free or log in if you already have an account. There will be a link in the description below. There's a help center. This is fairly limited for the time being, but there is some things to help you with and get started. And this is what the app looks like. But to find that help center, you can just go down to the support button and you'll select help center. Once you're logged in, this is what the relay app looks like. You got your playbooks. So those are your scenarios or automations. You got an inbox. This is where the human in the loop collaboration part comes in. If you, within your playbook or within your automation, add some sort of intervention, you can access those here. If you need to approve something or direct a certain task to a specific user, you can find most of those items within this section. Browse guides. It's just some extra documentation and resources and then integrations. If you select that, this is where you can connect to all your different applications that Relay integrates with. Here's my list of playbooks. I will just click into one for the time being. And you can see across the top here, we got different options. So this will show you all your runs. One that's currently active would be listed here and completed runs here. You got your playbook. This is where you actually create it and make your edits and changes. And then here's your activity to show you what has actually been completed in each step process. You can rename it here, turn it on and off. You're able to share and change some different settings and access if you have multiple users on your account. And then you can duplicate the playbook, view the edit history, archive, and delete the playbook here as well. You can test it. You can access the different data from where you've linked to things. And then from there, this is where you build out the workflow. I'm going to go back and create a new playbook. And what we're going to do is take Smart Suite and take the Relay app. And we're basically going to build a automation that creates a contract from the data we have in Smart Suite and moves it into Google Docs and fills the placeholders. You can create a new playbook. We'll just name this demo create contract. Now, one thing you'll have to go into integrations and connect your Google account 
and connect smart suite. Uh, you can do that within these steps as well, but I have already authenticated those accounts pretty straightforward. Like most integrations, you'll just click connect and log in. But after that, to get started, we will add a trigger. I will show you first what my smart suite solution looks like. I have all my list of contacts here. We've got a contract table and this is a linked record field. It's just linking to the contact. I'm starting a new contract here, put in my date of the contract, the services, the amount, and then I have a contract link. Once the automation fires, once it creates the contract for us, it will add the link to the Google doc here. This is really simple and basic more often than not, you're going to have a little bit more complicated contract. That's fine. You just have to add all the additional fields. This is what the base looks like, or the solution looks like back to relay Add a trigger. I'll search for smart suite, or you can scroll down and select smart suite record changed. And then I just have to go select tables. It's within my demos. And if I scroll down, it's within my sales table and lists the tables here. So I want to select contract. I'm going to add condition and the condition is going to be status becomes the create draft option. So on smart suite, I've got a status field and a list of status. So I've got a create draft option here. Go back to relay. Right now, it's not finding any sample data because I don't have anything is set to create draft. So I'll flip this to create draft, go back into relay, refresh this, and it's found right. Now I can click add a step. I'll look up Google Docs and I am going to copy a doc. So I'll select copy a document, go into my Google Drive. I already have a contract demo set up. It's got placeholders. So within the double brackets here, on the date, company, services, amount, and contact. As long as we're within the double curly brackets, you will be able to replace those placeholders. This is my template. If I go back to relay, I can select the contract demo, which I've labeled it. And I'm just basically going to be duplicating that exactly. And then I'm going to overwrite data into that duplicated. I'm going to get rid of this copy of text and I'm going to bring in dynamic text from my smart suite solution. And I'm just going to bring in the contract ID. I'll save it within the same folder as the original and I will move on to the next step. You can see here, there's this review option and this is part of that human in the loop collaboration. So if I select this and click double check before copy, I will get a notification within my inbox. I'll also receive an email, but it's basically going to allow you to say, continue with the automation or stop the automation so that it doesn't create the next step. This isn't somewhere where I want to level of functionality. So I will just leave it as no review required. The next step is another Google doc. It's going to be fill placeholders. And the doc I'm going to select is a, the dynamic document ID, which is the contract or sorry, the, the contract demo template that I just duplicated. So I'll select that. So add placeholders and there's a few here. So the date company services amount and contact. So I'll do date company and services to start. So I just got to replace that text and match it exactly date, company, and services. Go back to the demo, but date, company, services. So I want amount and contact as well. Amount and con. Now I can start adding the values to replace those placeholders with. So I will select the plus icon, go to contract, and I will select the date, company. I'll go to contract. I'm actually going to go to the link to contacts. And the nice thing about this is it actually pulls in data for us as well. We don't have to add formulas or rollups or lookup fields within SmartSuite, which is a really nice feature. So I'll go to the link to contacts. I will add the 
company. The services exist with contract table, select services, want amount, and the contact name. So in this case, I'll have to go to linked contacts. I will go to the contact name, select first name, and I will also have to go in and repeat that and select the last name. We have this section set up. I can click a, another module here and we will have the smart suite again. And what we're going to do here is just update a record. We're going to update this record that triggered the playbook. And I'm going to do the contract link. We're just going to pass the URL of that document that was created. And the other thing we could do is the status. We will change that to draft. Within this playbook, I do not want to review any of the steps. As I said, you have the option here. Now I'm going to go up here, select test. I will create a test run and I will start the run. You can see it will go through each step or action. And when it's completed, it says this run is complete. Now, if I go into smart suite, you can see it's flipped to draft. If I scroll across, I have a new link here. So if I select a link, open up contract template let's replace the date let's replace the company name that's added in the services the amount and the contact name let's link to all of that from smart suite to google docs and a few simple steps here that's pretty straightforward within the relay if the playbook is working the way you want it to and there's no other changes you want you just go back and select this option here to turn it on and then it will fire any time a contract record within your contract table has the status changed to create draft. It's really simple and easy to use. There's obviously some limitations with it being a newer software, but it is great to get started and be able to build automations very quickly. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get more tutorials in the future.